hi guys i bring you good news there is a fantastic opportunity with the new brunswick community college and they have just opened you know the admission portal to start taking in application so if you are looking at um, schooling in canada then i think it's a great opportunity we're going to be looking at the courses available and they have one of the cheapest fees that i've ever seen and you know what new brunswick is known for its numerous pr pathways and i'm going to be sharing with you how you can also apply for this um admission in this video so please like this video and also comment in the comment section below So in order for us to jump right into the video, all you need to do is go to Google and type New Brunswick Community College. Okay, and then this is me just scrolling all the way down. But um, you need to look out for programs open for application slash international. And then it brings you straight to this page. So over here, it says effective from Tuesday, July 4th, 2023. Applications for fall 2024 are open to international applicants all right and in fact one fantastic thing about this particular school or community college as is uh well known as is that it's really affordable and they have a lot of courses which we're going to be going through in a bit okay so over here you get to see that for fall season of 2023 um selected programs may still be open to international applicants who already hold a valid um study permit and that's because we're currently in summer and the next season is fall, which is really short to start processing um, your uh, study permit. Then over here, you get to see winter 2024. That is from uh, January. There is a course available for welding and metal fabrication. So if you're interested in that, you can click on that as well. And then for fall 2024, this is um, the new development okay and these are the courses that you know is currently available you have from accounting to administrative to animation and graphics and you know what uh, what i noticed about this particular um, community college is that they have about six satellite campuses in the province of new brunswick and so um that's why if you as you scroll down you begin to see the different type of um campuses where these courses have been taken you know and uh you get to see yeah carpentry business fundamentals culinary um cnc machining culinary arts management early childhood education you also have civil engineering technology educational support and so on and so forth one fantastic thing i love so much about the province of new brunswick is that they have a lot of permanent residence pathways um i'm yet to do this on the channel i will be bringing this to you guys soon so you want to make sure you subscribe to the channel and um, join the family and yes we had just reached sixteen thousand subscribers thank you so much guys thank you for subscribing to the channel thank you for sharing the video um thanks for telling your friends and your loved ones about the channel this is more like a diy community and i basically show you how you can get it done yourself so you can see that um, there are lots of courses that um may be of interest to you if you fall under the trade occupation lots of trade courses you can take and also um, if you are a skilled person as well there are a lot of skilled occupations that you can opt for and the good thing about this is that they are mostly one year one-year course okay it's a one-year course and that way 
the most amount you're going to pay will be within 9000 for one year. In fact, this is the cheapest I've ever seen, guys. I'll show you in a bit what the fees, what the tuition looks like for both um, international students and domestic students as well. So uh, you get to see over here as well, skilled trade techniques, social service, community worker, steaming, pipe fitting, truck, transport, uh, service technician you also have welding technology and the likes the list goes on and on and on so uh, i'm just going to click on one of these um costs just one of the costs on this list i think i will go for the culinary arts just to see what is on there and we're going to be clicking on um the international okay we're going to come back to this page shortly but i want to show you guys what the fees look like the tuition fees look like for both international and domestic students so yes here you here you have it full-time tuition fees for 2023 slash 2024 you get to see for domestic uh students for uh fall term is about a thousand seven ten while for international students it's about four thousand seven ninety for just one term and um since most of the courses is uh more like a one year full time cost then you'll be paying a total of nine thousand plus which i think is very affordable okay so now i'm back to the previous page i'm just going to show you how you can apply and when you get to the apply page you get to see canadian or permanent residents and then you get to see international applicants so what you want to do is to make sure you click on the international applicant uh, button how to apply the one in green and then over here it's basically it's very simple trust me very simple and um all you need to do or all you need to have is to um so far you've done your wayek or your neko or uh, ssc as is popularly known as um that is i think one of the very important um educational certification that you need to present and i'm sure you're gonna ask how do you go about presenting this you just need to buy a scratch card i'll show you guys in a bit okay everything is mentioned on here so payment method tuition fees this is basically the steps on how you can successfully submit your application and not to worry i'll put all the relevant links in the description box for your use please and please share this video to your friends and to your loved one and uh, especially if you're looking you know to come over to canada to school or you know whatever your intentions are this is a great opportunity to come and you know advance in your education come and school and then if you choose to stay back all well and good you know so over here it says for uh people applicants from nigeria ghana syria alone liberia gambia please see the information on submitting wayek or neko results so i'm going to click on this and um once i click on this is going to take me to a different page but you get to see other requirements that is if you have a high school or secondary school transcript and uh, if you have an official post-secondary transcript and the likes but basically if you have your wayek like a neko that will also suffice so you get to see where you can upload your scratch card because for them to verify your wayek results the result they're going to be attached to this application they need to use a scratch card so you need to buy a scratch card upload it in that button and then you submit your wayek okay your wayek certificate and you have to make sure it has the, all this necessary information like your examination number your pin and every other details so i think it's pretty straightforward if you ask me okay and um this is the news on you know how you can apply for uh or how you can submit your wayek and neko results so and then you move to the next step you know submit all the 
required documents, submit your application, review admission, and then once you have been issued um, an admission letter, then you can go ahead to accept it. So um, I think um, let me know your questions in the comment section below in case you have any. And yes, it's a short video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys. Bye.